growing indoors, first of all, has the opportunity to significantly reduce water usage, fertilizer usage, uh, uh, and then completely removes the, the requirements for, for pesticide use. Um, also, growing food that's fresher, that can be delivered to our customers uh, more quickly, uh, allows the nutrient content within the food to be preserved. Uh, in a lot of the developed countries, uh, the agricultural supply chain is actually getting longer. So in the U.S. it stands at 2,500 kilometers on average. And this is actually an increase over the past decade. And what's happening is that the nutrient content in the food, um, around 50% of that is lost by the time the product reaches the market. And so by growing closer to our customers uh, and then delivering fresher produce allows us to not only deliver higher quality, uh, more nutritious food, but it also allows us to ensure other things like food safety. We try to find as many local sources for seed stock as we can. Uh, once the seed arrives into our, into, our, um, into our indoor farm, we plant it in, essentially into what's called a grow cube. Um, and this grow cube is then placed into, uh, into the farm to start the growing process. Um, a typical lettuce plant will go through three different stages of production. It'll start out with germination, then seedling, uh, and then go into a nursery and finishing phase. And um, after the finishing, we, we uh, harvest the product and then deliver it to our customers. I just want to be clear that, that um, indoor farming is one of many tools to solve the challenges of food globally. Uh, it will not solve world hunger tomorrow, um, but it is one of the um, really up-and-coming solutions to address many of the challenges related to food logistics um, with producing and delivering and consuming food uh, at their peak freshness and peak nutrition and uh, it also allows for the local production of some of the most polluting foods uh, essentially foods that are mostly uh, water uh, so the shipping and transport of, of water can be incredibly energy intensive, it can be uh, very expensive and polluting, uh, and all, a lot of these things can be localized uh, through indoor farming.